Hello, hello, guys, how are you? This is Lizelle from Lil Plan House Batangas, and today we're gonna share the uh, 25 cutest plants that I have here in my garden. So let's get started. Hello, guys, how are you? Again, this is Zell from Real Plant House with Angus, and today we're gonna share the you know, 25 cutest plants that I have here in my garden. So let's get started. The first on my list is this succulent plant, and this is the string of pillows. So this is the string of pillows, as you can see, it's getting longer, right? And it's just so cute because of jade-like leaf. Okay. So if you will try to touch this and then you pinch it, the the water will, will go through. So of course you will not do it, right? It will be hurt. So this is again, this is the first on my list. This is the uh, succulent string of pillows. And yeah, when it comes to the color, it's naturally shiny too. Okay, so you should have this. Yeah, this is an outdoor plant. Outdoor plant. Okay. But if you can give a humid, a uh, humid weather for this or temperature, it will be better. So, next on my list is the curly spider, yeah, curly spider plant. So probably you already have this at home because it's not really, not really rare, right? And the color is just nice with the combination of of green and white and yeah there are lines here we'll be able to see it try to look at it closer third on my list is this dwarf red congo so this dwarf red congo is like a juvenile form of the uh, classic red congo but this one will not will not get like that so the shape of these leaves will stay the same even if it's matured so it will just get bigger a little bigger when we compare it to to the classic one but yeah it will not get bigger like that the fourth one is the uh, philodendron corcova densis uh, comment down below if you know the correct pronunciation for this plant but as far as i know this is philodendron yes uh, philodendron Kurkova densis. This is the fourth on my list. As you can see, it's really cute because of its heart shape and if you will touch it, it's thick. Like the Ataba Ponce or Ataba Pons and the Bilite texture. So it's it's thick, like a jade one. Right to look. So the fifth on my list is none other than uh, the plant that I am getting it addicted this March uh, from February to March. Yeah, so this is the Cryptanthus. This plant belongs to the uh, Bromeliad family of uh, Bromeliad. But this one is like, if the Bromeliad gets bigger or um, giant like that, so this one will just get into medium size. It will not get uh, giant like. Okay, so this is the Cryptanthus, as you can see. Uh, it's also known as the Earth Star because of its really, really cute one that can live on Earth, <laughs> uh, literally. Because of the star shape of, of this plant, it's, it's just natural. And it can live in, or it's tropical when it comes to, to America or the US. So, I just love this plant. I'm just getting addicted to this plant because I found that irrigation or the color of uh, colors of this plant depend on the amount of the sunlight that it gets. Okay, so we are done with five, right? So five plants, uh, five cutest plants, and let's proceed to the sixth one. So none other than this philodendron silver sword, and this is. Uh, right now is in a juvenile form or yeah juvenile form so it's not yet heart shaped like the dwarf uh, red congo but if it will get mature uh, it will uh, become heart shaped or it will form heart shaped leaves 
and yeah as you can see the color is literally silver yeah, silver like a bluish one right uh, as you can see it's just planted a oh, really shallow yeah because it's a philodendron it hates a deep uh, for me a uh, deep planting right but it's not drank don't you worry it's not drank <laughs> it's not drank okay so yeah same goes with the uh, dwarf red congo the shape the shape it's also thick and it's a collectible one if you're a field dendron lover too like me you should have this for your collection so let's proceed to the seventh one the seven on my list is this aglonema lucky red but if you will try to look at this is it's pink it's not red I'm not sure maybe that's just the name but it's it belongs to the evergreen family or the uh, aglonema plants okay so let's proceed to the eight eight on the list is this this one this is the uh, pink lady so look the variegation is really really nice this is a uh, lookalike of of the uh, what do you call that the turtle vines so they have the same family i'll just type uh, type the the exact name or family of this plant in the turtle vines um on screen so just just look at it okay so this is the pink lady and it's an important uh important plant from thailand it just you know it just grows here okay so how many we're done with uh eight so let's proceed to the ninth one so we have here the florida green so this is a classic florida right so it's a florida green as you can see it's i think it's just a baby two or just a juvenile one that's why it's, it's just really really good it's handy and there is no problem when it comes to the propagation of, of this plant or the mother plant of this because it's it's quite easy just do not overwater it and everything will be okay and put it somewhere that there's no direct sunlight but there should be a light or air right or like humid one better so this is the uh, philodendron florida green so that one as you can see the stalk here it's it's like a little reddish reddish or dark or deep uh, deep brown like that that one so let's proceed to uh tent um yeah the tent cutest uh, cutest plant that i have here in my garden uh we have here the ficus tineke uh, yeah ficus tineke or the white tineke because of the uh, white variegation of this and then there's a pink uh pink line here and what else what else yeah it's like there's a gray there is white there is green so and then pink lines so it's like a tricolor right except for the line it has and again the, the line is pink so let's proceed to how many Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's proceed to the eleventh plant that I found really cute in my garden. Just stay or this month. So this one. This is the Sansevieria francisii. So this one. It's a star shape, but uh, as you can see, it's like there's a there's a thorn here that you should be uh, you should be aware of it or uh, keep yourself. If you keep your hand away from it but we'll try to look at this like pretend the shape it's a star shape right so it comes to sun severe they are easy to care and air purifying plant or plants so the next on my list is i put i just put the number on screen okay i, I hate numbers sorry okay so this one this is the um um uh, a philodendron pink princess as you can see it's just a juvenile one or a baby 
So Miss Agnes, excuse me, this is yours. I'm sorry, I'm just flexing it just for the sake of this vlog because I'm yeah, I'm looking for cutest plants today. I was looking for it and I found this one and it's really really cute. And you'll be able to see it on this video if you're watching it, right? So it's just really really cute. But so because of the uh, because of the pink variegation, the green and it's like there's a splash a splash here of uh, gray like that and yes it's just nice you can see it other side of the leaf and this one as you can see it's like a half moon right half moon half moon okay so yes miss agnes this is yours and it's getting bigger now okay so let's proceed to the next on my list is this this kalachuchi or it, it is called a denim plant, right? So the color of the flower of this is pink. It just happened that it's not, it's not getting big. Yeah, it, it stays like this. But as you can see, there's another stem here. So it's like a bonsai, right? Like a bonsai one. It's already a year old, a year old plant. If you don't, if you don't mind. Yes, I bought these like just uh seedling very very uh, small like this and now look after a year oh after a year so look it's just cute it's like a, a small tree right so like a bonsai one so next on the list is the black majesty so this is the black majesty and it belongs to philodendron again and again i'm sorry I, I love philodendron or philodendry, that's why I have this. Um, yeah, a lot. Or it's like, oh, all the cute plants that you're pertaining or philodendron or philodendry, right? So, yes, this is a black majesty, and as you can see, it's literally black in color. It's really, really black in color, and it's thick and it's just baby or it's juvenile that's why it's it doesn't form heart shape yet okay or heart shape leaf yet so what are you doing here wait there's there's a pink here oh pink lady here so you should be in there okay. so yeah you should have this if you're a collector you should have this because it's it's not really expensive today unlike before that you know it's like oh you can't buy this because it's too expensive but now you can buy this one as you can see there's already an aerial root here if there's already an aerial root even though it's a juvenile form you can propagate it already right and if it's many you have many babies right so next let's proceed to to this black cz yeah this is a black cz or the uh, welcome plant also black welcome plant or cc plant and yeah it's yes it's really really black you can easily find out which one is the uh, variegated which one is the classic and which one is the black and i love the color of this i love the uh, you know i love the shape also of the leaves and it's like a jade one and it's a lucky plant according to feng shui okay so next we have here the uh, the silver lady i found it cute today because of also the variegation of the leaves uh, by the way this is different from the silver satin though they are the same they both belong to uh, skindapsus family this one is uncommon and the silver satin is really common okay so this one is imported from thailand but it's already uh, adjusted here or it accumulated the, the, the climate or the weather here that's why it's already established and yes yes try to look at this focus focus come on camera focus what's wrong with you Mm -hmm. Okay, so try to look at this. It's just so lovely because of the silver variegation here. And when it comes to the uh, size of the leaf, it's smaller when compared to the silver satin that uh, gets 
giant unlike this one it's just a small one that's why it's really really cute next we have here the San Siberia back, uh, Bacularis so this is the San Siberia Bacularis right, so look at this it's just so cute it's just from a single single stock or stem and then look at it now here are three three hands already so you can also propagate this one if you want but if it's lush it, it looks better so next on my list is this uh, red underleaf begonia so as you can see and it's it's shiny especially if uh, if it exposes or if it gets exposed to sunlight so yeah it's just so cute because of the size you can use it as just a tabletop right next we have here the alocasia bambino so this is the alocasia bambino before it's really really rare and it's it cost uh, 600 i think it's 1200 that's the first batch the first price of this plant 1200 pesos and now it's already 250 uh 200 like that see the difference because maybe uh, there's a lot of supply or there are already a lot of propagation that's why it's it's getting affordable right so but when you look at it it's really cute too right it's arrow shape like that and the heart shape and then a long elongated heart shape and it it's like an arrow when arrow head like that right so this is the alocasia alocasia bambino and try to look at the back or the underside of the leaf it's a dark yeah it's violet or it's oh, very very dark uh, color the next on my list is this green crimson calathea it's a prayer plant and as you can see here very very nice color and it's like a plastic one and yes this is just so cute of oh, its size look it's just so cute look at this one closer okay so we'll be able to see that it's really cute so green green sun it's a hybrid one and next on my list we have here the pil the pilea it's a pilea plant it has round shape leaves and as you can see the color is not that really common next on my list is this as always my favorite uh, ficus melanie this is from thailand but as you can see yes this is really uh, cute because of the small leaves that are compact compact look you cannot see the the stem so it's compact one and yeah it's it's really really cute for me right so the next one we have here the um yeah the pepperoni is known to be cute plant but yeah try to look at this uh, for me it's really really cute this is the um i think this is the silver silver crampled pepperoni so it's just cute because of a uh, coin shaped leaves and the, the next one is this so he, this is one of my favorite plants this is the uh, Haworthia zebra so yeah it belongs to the succulent plants and i think um it is easy to care compared to other uh, other succulent so this is a succulent plant and look because of the stripe color here or like a zebra this is really really nice right it's just so cute the last is this one so this is the uh, princess jessie uh, maybe already uh, you've already seen this on my um previous video but yeah i really really like this one it has many uh, leaves already and how many seven leaves and it has only one yeah one plant only uh, as you can see or uh, yeah one plant only so princess jessie calathea is uh, really cute and it's a prayer plant too and yeah i just love the color of uh, being here uh, compared to body 
a uh, lot he has just uh, small or just uh, thin ink here well this one has much touch of pink so pink black colors yeah the combination of the two so look at it it's just really really good so we're done with our 25 plants that are really really cute or cutest plants that we have here in my garden so thank you so much for watching i hope that you found them cute too goodbye and have a good day happy planting